Welcome guys to a brand new video on Solo Laven Arise. Now we got a, a new developer note that goes over the guild and we also have a brand new coupon code or redemption code that I believe everyone needs to be using which gives you 500 essence stones as well as event tickets as well. So make sure you are using it. The redemption codes will be in the comment section but you can also see it on screen as well. So again the developer notes was talking about guild which is going to be a new exciting content coming out very very soon and not all of you guys are very interested in it one thing i really want to know is how they're going to do the guild bosses because guild bosses if you take a look at the web tune and the anime it's with a bunch of other hunters as well so what i would like the guild bosses to be like is like maybe actually no it's probably not going to happen like this but i'd like to have a multiplayer content where multiple hunters or multiple players can fight at the same time but i really doubt that's going to happen for guild simply because of like being able to match players together and also like people coming up different times to challenge their, their guild bosses or maybe there will be like a specific opening time for guild bosses where you have to challenge it then so of course you'd have multiple players as well but I, I, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But anyways, Guild Boss is probably going to be similar to, I believe it's, is it called, Bat not Battlefield of Chaos. Um, it's the one with the dragon. Um, it's going to be pretty much similar to that in my opinion. Uh, we get a boss, you deal the most amount of damage, there's going to be rankings between your guild mates. You get rewards that you can go into the exchange shop for the guild and get some other items over there as well. It's going to be pretty much like that, which again, the dev notes also mentioned as well. So uh, let's quickly take a look at what is written. Um, as repeatedly emphasized in previous developer notes, our team plays great importance on the guild system oh yeah by the way before i carry on don't forget to like the video subscribe stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise links will be in the comment section so that you guys can support the channel via the official netmarble content creator program and codes will be delivered to you guys yes 1000 essence stones so make sure you press the link make sure you support the channel and uh, get those codes as well anyways um our team places great importance on the guild system because it's very very important of course we have dedicated significant time to prepare the guild system to ensure it becomes a special feature for all hunters but um, finally it will be introduced through an update at the end of july so we already know when we should be expecting guild so end of july we would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to all hunters for their patience um, guild creation and joining will be possible across all servers ah okay and guild names cannot be duplicated this means that it's crucial to create a new guild name like the white tiger guild in the original work now i'm going to try and enter a very 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 strong guild so hopefully the guild name is not stu too stupid uh, <laughs> so i want to be like at least top 10 in the entire game in terms of the guild so i want to be in a guild that's at least top 10 anyways um so yeah upon creating or joining a team or guild you can access the guild lobby the guild lobby can be cu um, customized with various themes allowing you to develop a unique and special guild you can grow by completing missions together with your guild members and there will be guild exclusive exchange shop and ranking system we are also preparing to introduce a guild syst boss system in the future updates so in july the first thing that will come out is guild in Aug july august in august it's going to be the guild bosses coming out so i should have previously i should have said that but if you take a look at the patch note july is just for us to get into a guild guild to prepare for the actual guild bosses and then the next update is going to have the guild bosses that everyone is very very excited for um as many of you are eagerly anticipating this, we are excited to share a sneak peek of the upcoming Guild Raid content featuring the battle scene between Fractna and Song Jin Wu. So you can see the animations over there. Song Jin Wu's hunter balance. So again, besides the guild stuff, they are going to be balancing certain hunters because they did recently balance certain characters, buff up characters. But of course, it didn't mean that that character became actually good. So characters like Lim Tae Gu, um, characters like Wun Jun Cho, those characters were not still used. Um, Choi Jun In as well, unfortunately, a first limited character is not the greatest right now. Uh, even Silver Main Beck as well is also being discussed in terms of um, potential buffs. So, so next we would like to discuss. Oh, so that's going to be happening in 
July. Our team plans to adjust the ba balance of certain hunters and ruins in July update. So in July. So um, yeah, and they're also going to be doing ruins as well. So there is going to be a picture of focus on the ruins that you do want to improve on. In addition to balance adjustments, our team has been ex uh, extensively discussing the direction of utilizing hunters with various attributes based on your feedback. Um, okay, improvement plans for duplicated runes. So I don't know who has duplicated legendary runes, but flipping hell, they already implemented features to make sure that you guys don't feel like you just have nothing. So to address this, we are preparing a feature that will allow you to convert a duplicated legendary runes or blessing stones. Again, whales. This is whale problem right here. Um, so what is this? This uh, so. You can convert duplicated legendary runes or blessing stones into a random chest by consuming 1000 essence stones. Yeah, this is for whales because I'm not using 1000 essence stones. That's absolutely ridiculous, but um, whatever, I guess. So, yep, this update is planned for July. If you need a quick response, please contact customers. Of what? Okay, whatever. Improvement discussions on summary limits of Army of Shadows. So, I actually mentioned this previously. I was really underwhelmed with the Army of Shadows because they came in consumes a lot of shades but they go out, out like they disappear in less than less than 10 seconds it's underwhelming that they come they're very weak honestly the only reason why you use shadows is uh i guess clear mobs little little mobs which a lot of people did say well it's kind of low accurate but like can't, can't we have shadows that last longer deal actually better damage and just feels really nice to have i guess i want to see the shadows more in in, in the, the matches so um the system was initially designed to reflect the mechanism from the original work again like i said where song jimu shadows consumes um consumes mana to summon the army of shadow however we have recognized that this may impact the fun of the game therefore we are currently considering improvements on the feet on the game shade is not bad it's not is it shades whatever that is it's not bad what it needs to be improved on is how long the the shadows stay in the match i think that's what needs to be improved on uh, moving on next we have hunter die skin die system in the world of arise each hunter possess their own um, taste and fashion style for example alicia usually sports shining bl uh, blonde hair but occasionally switches to pink hue for a change of pace so basically they're going to be having this hunter die system where you can change the colors for the character's hair uh, the designs as well so that's everyone who has the same hunter will have a kind of different looking hunter at the same time so um also they're going to be improving the um the detection of mods so so that people that are currently hacking will get destroyed again but destroy their accounts destroy their accounts though, of all hackers um they ruin the, the fun of the game um especially if you're taking part in ranks uh rank stuff but anyways um that is pretty much all the stuff oh also live streams as well so we've received feedback from the community regarding official live streams and communication don't get me wrong the devs has great communication but when it comes to releasing new characters they kind of fumble the bag at that point because they should have released the kit for the character at least three days before that character gets released but they don't they literally release it on the day of release which is absolutely stupid you build no hype by doing that uh we barely get any information regarding the characters so it's actually not that great but again the devs have good communication skills but that needs to be improved on although we currently communicate through developer notes and our global youtube channel we believe additional live streams are necessary for more harness and direct communications that would be cool having live streams similar to what genshin does i think that's the, one of the best things genshin actually does with their live stream it's always really fun to look forward to the live stream so we can take a look at sneak peeks and all that amazing stuff but again don't leave the character's information only to live streams or if you're going to do that at least have the live stream three days before the character releases not on the day of releases that's actually very very stupid build the hype build the hype by releasing the character's image releasing the kit like a two days after and then three days of waiting for the character to come out whilst we can speculate whether the character is good before, so that we can actually like build whether like um well we can decide or discuss whether the character is going to be a good character to summon for as well so again this developer was absolutely amazing went over the guild stuff which is absolutely cool to see the guild is going to be something i really want to see how the devs implement but i kind of have a, a, an, an idea of what the devs are going to be doing i'm looking forward to the guild shop specifically and the type of guild i can join so i really hope that the top ranking guilds will welcome me in i spent a lot of money i'm pretty strong 
and i think i will be beneficial so if anyone is looking for a guild mate or already you know create a list of characters or place to add yo add me i mean it looks like all server is going to be available so maybe i can join a server of other content creators as well so that would be cool as well i'm not really too sure i personally just want to enter a top five guild pretty much pretty much it um it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe again links will be in the description or oh sorry in the comment section where you guys can support the channel by going over to the official netmarble pages it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out